Okay guys, I'm so excited to start drawing. Um, here is my example. Um, this one of course is not colored, but I'll go ahead and extend the video after we're done drawing and I'll show you some cool coloring techniques that you can add. Um, so just to kind of go over what you see, um, we have the little dancing popcorn guy um, and then we have our soda pop character which is right here. Um, and then he is of course holding the awesome flag that announces it's snack time which is my favorite and probably your favorite time of the day um, other than lunch time of course so we um, have our paper horizontally so not vertical but laying down so that it's lazy um, which as you know is horizontal so here we go um, and then I have a piece of white paper. If you have another color or any paper, like recycled paper, that's awesome as well, always works. And I'm using a Sharpie just so you guys can see it, um, but I don't recommend drawing in Sharpie um, unless you are okay with going with your mistakes, which I do recommend that you are. Okay, so we have something that we know goes along the top, and then we also know that we have something down here in this quadrant, and then we have something in, in this lower quadrant as well, depending, it might be more towards the middle. But I like to start just with the popcorn, and then we can get into the soda. So the popcorn's pretty simple, um, but we wanna make it look 3D, so we're going to use a specific set of lines. So it's gonna be a diagonal line. Um, I'm gonna make it an L shaped, but just watch. This line is not parallel with the side of your paper. This line is starting here, and it's kinda like ending up over here so it's straight but it's a diagonal line okay and then from here it's just a super simple straight bottom don't go too far over because it gets wider at the top so we want this side of our popcorn to be in line with the top of this um, but we also remember we do not want it to go straight up so that it's parallel we want it to kind of veer outward so I'm gonna just kind of like visualize a point where I think it should go and then I'm gonna meet it so you can see it's short at the bottom and then the top portion is wider Okay, now here's where we want it to look 3D. So this is gonna be a little difficult, especially with the way that I've drawn this line so you can see me troubleshoot. We want to show the side of the popcorn bag. And so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna draw an, another diagonal line extending from this corner point and it's gonna kinda go up and back towards this area of our paper. Um, we don't want it to go that far. It's just, you know, our bag is really little. So we're just gonna kinda draw a, a straight but diagonal line coming off. And then from here, you're going to draw another straight line and it needs to be diagonal because it needs to follow this angle. Um, and But here's the key. This cannot end before the top of this. It needs to go past it. voila so it's slightly longer not substantially just a little bit doesn't have to be perfect because it is a paper bag okay now why did I do that um, we're going to close it up so if this is difficult you can just close it with a straight diagonal line um, but I'm gonna kind of make a zigzag line I'm gonna use the um, zigzaggy line to kind of make it look like the top of the paper um, but just a pro tip I don't think that you should make them very close together I would make them a little bit wide and flat they don't have to be perfect remember this is a little cartoon snack drawing okay so um, now when we color we can draw lines down from these um, with white and red and we can create that classic popcorn bag look but we're not going to do that yet because we want the ability to add a face so um, I'm going to make two ovals for my eyes 
if you wanted, you can change the expression. He could be winking, crying, um, he could be sleepy. Um, I like to do these cartoon eyes. So if you missed it, it's this little smile at the top and then a frown line at the bottom. And then you color inside of the center space. You don't have to do it that way, just a fun little tip. Okay, now I've been loving these little expressive eyebrows that I've been doing, so you can make them bushy or however you want. One can be sort of over here, maybe. Um, okay, I'm gonna give them a little nose, just a very simple nose, a little scoop line. Okay, now uh, remember, the mouth, the expression is up to you, but I want my mouth to be open, um, so I'm just doing the classic line on the top. Um, it's slightly curved. It's not straight. And then I'm gonna put these little marks, maybe. And then if you want, I kinda come in. I was telling the little kids to draw the U shape it can be as dramatic as you want. You can even come back in. Okay. Now, I have been drawing a little scoop line and then maybe something like this and coloring this portion in just to be a little more dramatic. But this is his mouth open with his tongue. Looks good so far, guys. And then I'm gonna make this little line right here. I've been making a lot of little expression lines. Okay, so this is popcorn. Um, I did not close up the top because I want us to have the ability to make as much popcorn as we want. Um, we don't want to go crazy because we need to have enough room to write our title. Maybe you decide you don't want to write the snack time banner. Um, so in the, if that's the case, go ahead and go crazy with the popcorn. Okay, so the popcorn is created by using bump bump lines, a bumpy line, a cloud line, but you kind of want to vary the size and the way that you do them. Then you can add little details inside. So what I've been doing is kind of making some larger and some misshapen and then kind of making some come from that along the bottom at first, just to kind of give myself a base. And then you want to go back and maybe you want to make it look like some of them are kind of over these on the bottom. So you're not making little clouds, you're not making little stars, but the more lines that you add the more interesting it'll be. But you don't wanna go overboard. You're not doing something simple like this. It's a little bit too nondescript. You can maybe try that, and then I would come back and sort of carve out a couple more pieces of popcorn that are a little more pronounced. Looking good so far. I like it to come to a point. I'm going to put one more piece. And then I'm going to make it look like one is coming from the side. And maybe one's falling out down here. Okay. Now, let's start drawing the soda. So we're going to draw a lid with a straw. Um and then we're going to draw the cup down here and he's gonna have legs and he has arms and then he's holding that little banner. So just be mindful of how large you're drawing things. Um, I just like, since we have this guy, let's go ahead and try to use him as a guide. Um, the lid is circle when we're looking down at our cup, um, but if we are looking sort of like at this angle, we wanna use an oval shape to show that. So watch what I mean. whatever size it is, you don't want it to be too small. 
but whatever size it is, that's what size drink you're having. Okay, so it is an oval, but it's pretty flat. Um, and then we're gonna have a lip coming all around it. So you need to, from either side, not too far in. You don't want this curve showing. It needs to be kind of in line with this. You wanna just put two little lines and then you're gonna close them and you need to use a curved line and the curve needs to follow this curve and sort of stay at the same width away from it. So what I mean by that is You can put some lines if you want. Okay, now let's do the straw. So our straw, it's gonna come from the middle and it's gonna come up and out. So you would need to make a little mark in the middle of your lid that is sort of like a flat smile. And coming from one side, you're making the straw. And then you're gonna leave a little space and you're gonna make the same diagonal coming down until you get to that line. So that's the opening in the lid and the straws going inside of it. Now, if you have a pencil, you can erase this, but tip for a marker, that's gonna be where your stripe is. So before you think you messed up, always give things another consideration. Okay, now to close the top of the straw, you can just Kind of do a real flat oval. Perfect. Okay, now our lid, um, he's kind of like off going at an angle to the side. So when I draw this part, I kind of want to be mindful of where the bottom should go because I wouldn't want it to come over here because um, it needs to kind of be in line. So you can do it two ways. You can take that curved line that we used and you can kind of like skip a space and make yourself sort of like a guide. That's the bottom of our cup. And then you can come down. Pretty easy, guys. Okay, now let's put his face in. I'm going to do that oval again. And then another oval. And whatever kind of eyes you want to do, go for it. So I'm gonna show you again the cartoon eye. So there's a little blip, and then you flip the curve and you do it down here and you fill in the space between. Now for his eyebrows, be as creative as you want. Maybe he has just one, maybe he's angry, so you kinda make it. I like these little curves. Then I have been doing these lines just to show that he's very excited. Okay, I'm just doing a classic simple smile and I want his mouth open again and I like that ton look now I'm coloring this in because this is going down inside of his mouth inside of his throat so easy way to do that okay now let's give him or her some very simple legs with my marker I'm just gonna kind of draw a line I'm gonna thicken it and I'm gonna just put a little foot at the bottom. Do the same thing for our popcorn over here. Perfect. Okay, now you can make the arms anyway, but remember they're pretty small. So you want to make the top portion of the arm thicker than the forearm and then for the hand it doesn't need to be anything crazy I just kind of made a mitten look but this one this one's important because if you want him to be holding anything or waving or holding that sign it needs to um, be sort of the reverse of this so it's gonna need to come out and then it's gonna kind of go up like an L and then remember this is his little bicep and then this is the forearm area Okay, now for the hand, I did this. It's almost like a shape of a bean. 
And that's because we're going to make him holding a big stick. So the stick, I'm giving it a rounded bottom. And then I put some little hash lines on the side just to kind of be interesting. You want the stick to be behind his hand. So my hand is in front of my pen. So you need to be mindful of how that looks. Okay, so I'm coming up. I'm going all the way up to the top. I'm going simple today, guys. Okay, then I'm putting this little ball on the end. If you want, you can color it in. Put a little line. Okay, now I came out from here and I made a very slight curve. And then I kind of changed the curve and I ended. So it's up to you. Don't make a wavy line, guys. Um, on the end, it can run up the page. It can be a triangle. It can be sort of a rectangle. I like to do this. Okay, now for this. This bottom line, whatever you do on the top, you have to replicate on the bottom. So we already know that this line sort of kind of needs to come and curve downward. And then it needs to scoop back up and go down again. So I know that I'm kind of doing like the frowny line. Now I need to kind of curve it up like a smile. And then very gradual back down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now something that I did here, I very carefully replicated the top line and then this line here. So this is if you want this to look 3D. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm drawing right next to the top line. Like as close and precise as I can. Sorry. Okay, but if you're doing that, then you'd also be able to see down here. So you need to do it again. Wonderful. Okay, so we're writing snack time. Or whatever. But I liked, for whatever reason, my letters to kind of be leaning. S N A C K. I -M -E. And then I'm going to do an exclamation point. Looks great so far. Okay, let's add just a couple more details and then we can be done. Um, I went to the drive-in and this is where I got this idea. So when it's intermission and it's time to go get a snack, they put this little screen up onto the projector and it has these cute little stars. So these are crosses that are pretty long and then the X lines are short. You can even put little circles on the ends. Okay, and then one last thing from the soda, let's put some little bubbles. So let's do some circles. These are going to be overlapped. And then some lines in between. Inside. Okay. Maybe one just popped. Maybe a bubble popped because it is soda and it's fizzy. I'm going to draw a bigger one. So I'm making sort of a curved line. Almost like a comma shape on the inside of my bubbles. Okay, guys. It looks super cute. Um, I can't wait to start coloring. Um, if all you had was a writing utensil today, um, don't forget to sign your work and take a photo of it and send it to me with your iPad. Um, if you do have coloring utensils, then feel free to continue watching this video and let's get started. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, we are going to color it. There's all kinds of different ways that you could color it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you 
how I'm gonna do it. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just show you, I have a combo of crayons, color pencils, and markers, just cause I like to use all kinds of things. Um, and I use what I have. So I have a really good red marker. Um, I, I'm gonna make stripes on our popcorn tin um, because we want it to look like that classic red and white stripe design. So we wanna use a straight line um, and they come every time if you made the zigzag line at the top on the down. So it's at the peak, not the top of the mountain, but the peak. So I'm gonna make a straight line. I'm gonna come down. I don't wanna go over my shapes, a line and a line. And another line. Remember, I'm going from the low points of the zigzags. And I'm picking up the marker if I get to a shape because I don't want a big red line running through it. Perfect, looks good. Okay, I think we can just fit like one over here. Let's just thicken it and we'll just call that the stripe. Awesome. Well, I have this red marker, just because I want to give their mouths an extra little pop, I'm going to go ahead and use it on both of the tongues. And then I also, just to give my writing a little bit of pizzazz, I'm going to trace over it with the red marker. I'm going to color the space with a crayon or a colored pencil, um, but I'm going to outline the letters in this marker just to give it a little bit of pop, like I said. It doesn't have to be perfect. Excellent. Okay. Looking good so far. And since I'm doing a marker, I'm just going to go ahead. I have a brown marker. I'm going to color my flagpole too. Um, I noticed when I was going to get my colored pencils out, I don't have a brown colored pencil. So I'm using a marker. Awesome. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna do these bubbles. Now you might be wondering, why am I doing these bubbles brown? Well, I'm imagining that these bubbles are from our soda. So they're made of soda, carbonation from the soda. Okay, looks awesome. I also have a blue marker. I'm just gonna use it to outline the cup. And I'm not gonna do the lid. Okay, looking good so far. All right, so I know I've been skipping around, but while I have the marker in my hand, I like to just go ahead and get everything done at once. Um, I'm gonna go back to our popcorn and um, I'm gonna show you two things. So you can use a colored pencil or you can use a crayon, um, whatever you have, um, but you just want to be mindful, you're making an AB pattern. So this is white, this is red, this is white, this first stripe, is gonna be red. So, good rule of thumb, always color in the same direction, all the way down. Now, we want to skip this one and we're gonna do this one red, so I'm gonna put a little mark. We're gonna skip and we're gonna do this one red, okay? Um, now, one thing before I speed the video up, we can come to each edge of each shape and we can kind of darken it just to kind of make a little bit of a shadow. So if I wanted to start with the shadow on the edge of each shape, I'd come in real dark. Don't forget down here. And then in the inside, just a little bit softer. And you wanna kind of blend the edges. over 
here, we can do the same thing. Now, I like to do this technique around a lot of my shapes just to give it an extra added bit of dimension. And I'm gonna show you something you can do with the white um, shapes, but you need to be really, really, really light-handed. So that means like feather touch. You can, with the same color, um, you can kind of come back in around the edges of each white and you can just really, really, really lightly add a little bit of red. Just makes it look a little more realistic. You don't have to do it. Maybe you just do it in some spots. I'm just barely going in. Looks good. Okay, so we're gonna use that technique up here. I'm gonna take just a darker color, which is orange, and in a couple of the popcorn kernels, really lightly with the orange, I'm just gonna darken a few of the spots, maybe, especially down here, like the parts that go inside of the bucket, because that would be a shadow. So if you have a lot of different yellows, you could use the darkest one to do this, but I don't have a lot of different yellows. So, I'm using orange. Maybe there's a little bit of cheese on it. Let's just pick a couple of spots, like I said, to add a little bit of orange. Maybe down inside some of these crevices. Okay, now, I'm gonna use a crayon. And I'm just gonna go right on top. Yellow's such a light color, it shouldn't even matter. Now you can be more precise, but I kind of like to be a little more free. Okay. Fill in all the spaces. Don't forget these guys. You might want to be a little more precise with these. These guys are kind of our focal pieces. Maybe you want to try this technique, darken with your yellow and lighten in the middle. Looks good. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color the rest and I'm going to speed up the video and we can talk again when I'm done. All right, guys, so it looks like I'm all finished. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And again, I hope you've enjoyed snack time with Miss Walsh today.